Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So, if you couldn't tell, lately I have been switching over to doing more content that has to do with my program and what I'm going to school for, which is computer science. So I thought that I would stick to that, and I wanted to create a video that was kind of a sit-down video, so not a vlog video, um, that would help you guys out. Because I know that as I do more of these videos, I have a lot more subscribers that are in those areas as well. So today I have made a list of my favorite resources for computer science classes or mathematics classes just because as far as first year computer science goes I've had just as many math courses as I've had comp sci courses so I thought that it would be helpful to give you guys my favorite resources uh, give a little explanation of what they are the first one I want to talk about is one that hopefully you have all heard of before and it's Khan Academy so Khan Academy um, I know is huge for helping people with mathematics but if you weren't aware they also have some computer science engineering electronics that kind of stuff they also have some courses like that which is super exciting for me because it means that Khan Academy basically has everything that my program like entails it's got computer science and electronics and mathematics which is super helpful so it's basically got it organized into different subjects that you want to cover. If you're in other programs, they also have, um, I know that there's chemistry on there and they have a couple other fields as well. Basically go to the subject that you're interested in and then it gives you a list of topics and you can walk through them. And the nice thing about Khan Academy is it gives you video lessons, um, kind of like writing on a chalkboard, and he's so good at explaining um, the concepts and stuff. But also, um, periodically throughout the lessons, they have actual kind of like fill in the blank tests where you actually get to like test your knowledge, see what you've learned, and then um, go through. And if there's something that you don't know, you can go ahead and relearn it. And another thing that I absolutely love is they, um, I don't know how long they've been doing it for, but they just started promoting it a lot more, is they have a portion of their website where you can master skills. So you basically start from the basics, like like primary school math, addition, like subtraction, all of that, and you work your way up completely mastering the skills, which is an amazing way to like, first of all, just like warm up your brain for getting, for doing mathematics, but also for filling in any holes that you may have from elementary school or high school, because you know, obviously there are some things in high school and elementary school that just didn't quite click with you. So going through and learning to like master those skills is something you could do on Khan Academy and it will really strengthen your math skills. The next website is called Code Wars and it's a website um, specifically for coding and it's kind of like a game. So it sets up, um, different kind of tasks and different things to complete um, using whatever language you want. They have a drop-down list of like 20 different languages, probably more than that actually. So you can choose the languages you're comfortable with, the languages you want to learn, and then it, sh it shows you the difficulty of the task that you're doing and you kind of earn points per task. So I learned about Code Wars from um, an Instagrammer, and she writes blog posts as well, named um, Avocoder. I will leave her link down below so you can go check it out. But it's just kind of like a fun way to get into coding and to learn new languages, or to like kind of do creative tasks that you might not get to do during class. My next resource is the MIT OpenCourseWare. So they have a YouTube channel where they actually post full length lectures um, from multiple different programs. I know for sure that they cover mathematics and computer science, um, which is of course why I'm there, but I'm pretty sure they also have other um, courses posted. And they're great professors, they're great lessons, and like I said, they po post the full length lesson and it's filmed in the lecture hall, so it kind of feels like you're there. You know, sometimes you just don't learn well from certain teachers the way they teach, or you don't understand what they're saying, or just their techniques don't vibe well with you, I guess. So it's nice to go and see another lecture on the topic, so that maybe a lecture online with like the MIT Open Cour Courseware can um, kind of also fill in the holes of like what you missed in your class. So I found that super helpful. They're full length lectures. You can like turn on the lecture and listen to it while you do something else. It's really great. The next resource is one that if you're in comp sci, um, you've probably heard of it and it's called Stack Overflow. Um, it's also a website. It's basically one of those websites like, um, like Yahoo Answers where you go and post questions and there's kind of experts that answer those questions, um, except it's specifically for um, computer science and there's definitely some mathematics on there as well 
Um, so it's really good because other people might have the same questions as you or might have other questions that you didn't even know you wanted to ask. Um, and you get real answers from people that are like in the field that you're working in. I know most of um, my classmates that I've spoken to use Stack Overflow. The teachers have even mentioned using Stack Overflow just because it is such a good resource. And the last resource that I wanted to mention is a website called devdocs.io and it basically has all of the documentation for um, a couple specific programming languages so depending on what you're learning it may not be helpful but I know that it has C and it also has JavaScript and it has HTML so if you're interested in those ones it definitely has those so it's a really great um, kind of dictionary for all of the different aspects of um, in my case I'm learning C right now so it's got lists of all the keywords what they mean what they do your input output functions, all pretty much all the different functions, um, the operators, everything basically, and the documentation for that stuff. So I found it to be super helpful if I just need more specification on what something does. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully you haven't heard of a couple of those resources so you can go and check them out and I hope that they help you out in your classes. I also know it's getting around to midterm season so if any of you are in school right now, I wish you luck keep pushing. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to smile and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.